A historic move by the Federal Reserve to fight inflation. The Fed raising its benchmark interest rate, impacting everything from your credit card bill to your savings account. Chris O'Connell explains. It may be less than 1%, but it is one of the biggest federal interest rate hikes in nearly three decades. And chances are it'll affect nearly everyone. I've noticed that I've made adjustments myself, just in general, because just, just the sphere of inflation. In case you haven't noticed, even in the littlest things, the price is going up. Gas is obviously the big thing and traveling. Even things like iced coffee, food I eat, um, I feel like everything in the cost of living has just gone up so much. In an effort to cool down inflation, the Federal Reserve is boosting interest rates by three quarters of a percent. The Fed's goal is to slow down the economy. Dan Ricardo, a finance professor at the University of San Diego, month, says the rate dropped. hike will mean buying a new home will become more expensive. The cost of student loans will go up and expect variable credit card rates to go up on your next billing cycle. These are the things that are going to cost us more because interest will go up on all of those items. So for consumers who are borrowing money, the price just went up. On the bright side, the move also means your savings account may start collecting more interest. So what can consumers do now? Focus on what you can control. You can't control the Federal Reserve. You can't control interest rates. You can control how much high interest credit card debt you have. Focus on that. Focus on your savings account. Now's the best time to try to boost your emergency savings if you can. Job market is still really good. Focus on getting a better job, higher pay, those sorts of things. Delay major purchases if you can. And experts say mortgage rates that were near historic lows earlier this year could jump to upwards of 9% by year's end. In Center City, Chris O'Connell, Fox 29 News.